Hey, what's good? This is Max Shakur, also known as At The Vegan Brother, with another tasty homemade plant-based recipe to share. I call this joint my after-workout veggie and tempeh protein blast. The ingredients for this dish are tempeh, red, yellow, and orange bell peppers, grapeseed oil, onion, asparagus, frozen string beans, shishito or jalapeno peppers, butternut squash, celery, zucchini, baby bella mushrooms, and these frozen garlic joints that I get from Trader Joe's. Alright, first things first, slice the bell peppers. As you can see, I got a cool little slice going, not a dice or a chop. You want to make sure you slice them thick enough so they don't wither away as you're adding the other ingredients during the cooking process. Not too slim, not too thick. Once you've samurai the bell peppers, then it's time to get at the onion. Basically, it's the same slicing principle as used with the bell peppers. You want to make sure that they're big enough so that you can still have them with girth once you've done. <laughs> I know girth is a funny word. <laughs> I'm so childish. All right. Uh, you want to make sure that they're slightly girthy when you get to the end of the recipe so you don't want to chop them too thin or slice them too thin. All right. Next on the cutting board are the baby bellas. As you can see, I don't chop them into small pieces. I do this because I want the veggies to remain prominent once everything is done cooking. Sidebar, I loves me some baby bellas. I try to incorporate them into any recipe that I'm making as much as possible. Next, I slice and dice the zucchini. This is actually the one veggie that I do chop into smaller pieces. They just cook down better in the recipe this way. I'm not really sure why. Now normally, I use a veggie called shishito peppers that I get from Trader Joe's. They were out of stock the day I went shopping for these ingredients, so I opted for the jalapeno instead. Either works, I just like it to spice it. I did a serious dice on these as well, and I did not remove the seeds. Next, I chopped the celery. I actually dig celery, although I know some vegans stay away from it. I drink celery juice every other day. It helps to lower my cholesterol and blood pressure. It's a natural anti-inflammatory, improves digestion, and has a bunch of super powerful antioxidants. Next, I cubed the tempeh. This tempeh is organic, and I purchased it from Trader Joe's. FYI, a half a cup of tempeh has about 15 grams of protein. I incorporate it into my workout and weight training meal plan daily. At this point, I heat my skillet to a medium temperature and grab my grapeseed oil. Here's a quick look at all of the veggies I diced, chopped, and sliced. Now, once the grapeseed oil is hot, I add the tempeh to the skillet. I let it brown on each side before I add any of the vegetables. The key word here is brown, not burn. Once the tempeh is browned, I add the bell peppers to the skillet and let those cook for a few minutes. I don't want to cook them all the way down because they'll still be getting heat as I add the other ingredients. Next, dun -dun -dun -dun, I add the onions, celery, and zucchini. I added a few seasonings as well. A few dashes of all-purpose seasoning that I got from Whole Foods, a dash or two of oregano, a few teaspoons of smoked paprika and a teaspoon of onion powder. I chopped the frozen asparagus, grabbed the frozen string beans and the frozen butternut squash. Here's the garlic joints I mentioned. It's like 12 in a pack. I used three of them after I added the season. And that's basically it. At the very end, I add a few sprinkles of chipotle seasoning, cayenne pepper, sea salt, herbs de province, FYI, go easy on the herbs the province though. Cumin, dried parsley, and fenugreek. This is my after workout meal, but I can honestly eat this anytime throughout the day. If you try it out, let me know what you think. Until next time, stay focused and stay disciplined. Peace.